All praises is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Today is going to be very special. It is entitled Signs of Tamar, the final witness in my life. There is a woman by the name of Tamar that all the men wanted. This including Jacob's first daughter. This includes Tamar of Jacob. This includes also Absalom's first daughter, Tamar. Everybody wanted Tamar. Everybody wanted to have her. Who is Tamar? Tamar is a picture of the last day witness. That's why her name is like tomorrow. Her name is Day. This is a picture of Miss Kobe Bryant. This is a picture of Day Day, Miss Day Day. This is a picture of Miss Stunner, Miss Shocker. I also call her Rose. This is a picture of the other half of Al Maddie. Al Maddie is made up of two people. We have the father and we have the mother. We are the father and mother of all the prophets, including the prophet Muhammad and the prophet Isa. Peace and blessings be upon them. Simply put, we are the original Adam and Eve copy that was in heaven who never ate the fruit, who never dropped the ball. We have to die according to Exodus 23 and 4, in which I preach is the end, 20, 34, and verse 5, in the days that the father and the mother would visit the earth for putting gods before gods. That happened in Christianity. Jesus said that he was the son of God, after calling you all gods and the world is guilty of putting gods before gods not only that the world is guilty of accusing Allah of having a son which is a monstrosity and at that saying the heavens would quake that's the eve and the mountains would fall that is one person that is Al Maddie, we both are one. The last two witnesses, we are here to judge the lie of Allah having a son. He has no sons. I am his S-U-N. I'm his son that's going to shine along with the mother. So as we look at Tamar, we see day in her name. Not only that, we have the word bra or Arab or bar as in a judge. So inside of Braxton, we have Arab. We have Abba. This is all going into the Kaaba. This is all going into the female last witness. Nobody never knew that there is a female witness who is going to be side by side with Al Madi? Okay. Al Madi is the ruler of the Arabs. That's why Arab is in her name. Bar is in her name because she's going to judge. Why? Because Al Madi is the stone that will be raised at the last day with the two eyes. And the two eyes is including Miss Tamar, a picture of. Of the last female witness, which is of Mexican descent. Okay, we both are one. There's a lot in her name. Also, what do we have in her name? Toe. We have toe in her name because according to Daniel 2 and 34, our nation, okay, made up of iron and clay. It will not mingle with one another. And the stone cut without hands, exactly, in verse 34, which is a picture of 2034, will smite that image on his toes. And that image will fall down. And that's a picture of the last two witnesses dying in 2034. Now I have proof this year I broke my third and fourth metatorsal. That's my toe this year. Okay, my name is Daquan Lamont Clay, and here in Daniel 2.34, you have pieces of clay and pieces of iron flying everywhere because the last two witnesses will be killed, and they will be the first 
to resurrect and then we will go into the judgment. So much inside of toe. And the female last witness, she will know exactly what I mean when I say toe. Also, we have Acts in her name. According to Jeremiah, with you, I will break in pieces the nation. You are my battle axe. And this woman will be used as a battle axe side by side with Al Maddie. She has a watch. She's indestructible for nine years years now don't get excited about the breast that's going into a vest that's going into a mantle she's carrying and towards the end of her prophesying she will minister in sackcloth and ashes okay right now she's not woken up her hair is blonde in this picture it's because of the bright light of the father this is going into the halo of the father. She is half of this S-U-N that's going to shine. She's the mother of all the prophets. If she walked in a room today, she is her mom's mom. If she walked in her father's house today, she is her father's mom. Okay, physical, biological, not Al Maddie's. Okay, we have a balance so there's a whole lot if you just watch the video there is a scene when she has a pillow and it looks like a rose and that rose is going into witness Tamar also is going into the Maria according to prophecy there is a Mexican woman that's going to come in the future and she will die she will be an atonement along with Al Mahdi for the lie in Christianity. And this is the mother of the prophet Isa in accordance with the Quran. Okay, when he said, what if I chose to destroy Christ and his mother? Well, I'm here to complete the Quran and I have that revelation. That is going to take place. The prophet Isa will die before Al Mahdi and the last woman witness. Okay, so there's a whole lot in Tamar Braxton. She was a royal daughter. She's an heir. Let me tell you something. Allah created the world through Al Mahdi. Al Mahdi is an heir of all the worlds. Allah is Lord of the worlds, and Al Mahdi is God of the earth. But I'm also an heir of all the worlds, along with this woman right here, you see in the picture. And she is a picture of that last female witness, okay? And the beauty and all that is going into how everybody wanted her. Everybody wanted to be able to witness on the side of her. And I am that guy that gets to witness on the side of her. Okay, there's other things that's going into the chest and her breast, which right now, it's not convenient to go into detail on it, all right? Okay, she has on the belt because she has on the belt of truth. This woman is considered a witness. Now, I want to tell stories of my life. You know, bosses have the best stories. And for me to learn, I always have to look back over my life. And look at everything Allah has entrusted me with. Now, no doubt, Tamar is a picture of this last female witness. Now, there was a time in my life when I was a young man before I went into prison. There was this girl I was with, okay? We was rocking out, okay? We was rocking out and we rocked out for some years okay and for some reason in this relationship i got put in a situation where i met up with a friend okay and i met up with this friend and you know things happen you know and i'm not going to go into detail on anything you see what I'm saying? What I mean by 
it was a violation. If you go by what they say is culturally correct, here you are, you're your boyfriend and girlfriend, and then you're talking to another girl. Well, I wasn't married. Okay. And there's this woman, and I'm going to scroll down right here. This woman right here, first of all, I honor her. And this woman is a brave woman because she was used by the most highest, okay? And she was used for me to meet up with her because she was a picture of my reward, not only in the afterlife, but also of the last female witness, okay? I got put in a situation where there's someone else that has that right to be the last witness, okay? And although I was with this one woman, okay, this other woman stepped in and fulfilled that role. Now, I'm not going to give you her name, but she's beautiful inside, okay, and out inside and out and she was a picture of that don't want to go too detail in her business okay these are my albums i did okay it was only proper for me to take a picture like this okay now i gotta tell you about a hair dye story now my daughter wanted her hair dyed so, of course, I paid for it. She wanted it to be brown. It came out this color you see in the picture. We was there and we were just waiting and we looked and we was surprised at the color. It was bright. Her hair was super bright. And... Just two days ago, Allah revealed to me why did that happen, which is something so detailed that you could forget about. And he said, it's because in the picture, I wanted to show the glory. And as you can see, my head is next to her head, but it's like a halo. It's my light reflecting off of her head. Okay. And I was amazed. I was like, wow. The angels knew the pictures I had to be in. And so they already planned and picked out for her head to be a reflection of the bright light from the halo that's over my head that I never knew I had. I was like, wow. So that's the hair dye story. I'm like, wow, and it's so true because we asked for brown and we got blonde. It's because in the picture, the glory was supposed to show just like you see. The S-U-N shining and the reflection is seen off of her hair. Now, I got videos on Al Maddie's Halo. You should watch it. And all of the pictures, there's not one single person that has more light around their head than me. Now, this is another story, okay? This is personal. Now, this person right here had me weeping and crying today like a baby. I literally cried today because this person right here is so dear to my heart, so dear to my heart because there was a time probably about 2011 when I was shifting from one relationship to another relationship and this girl right here on the screen was my friend she's seen things in my life okay that her and I only know like such as a certain family member of hers Witnessing that I was the man with the worn out Bible. And she knows exactly what I'm talking about. 
Now, me and her was friends, but I was also seeing my kid's mom at the time. And um, this is my son, Jeremiah. So at the time, my son wasn't even born or Kyla wasn't even born. So I'm in between of making a choice to, to choose which woman I'm going to be with. So I chose my kid's mom. But this woman was in my life because when I moved into the house with my kid's mom, we didn't have a bed. And this woman right here you see in the picture, she gave me a bed even though me and her was talking and even though she knew another woman was going to be sleeping in it that was going to be my wife and not her brave move because she's being rewarded she gave me that bed and that bed was placed upstairs because it's a picture of the woman who has 50 percent ownership on the Kaaba with me i did not know i thought Al Maddie was by himself, but the last witness is also an heir as well. And so when the Muslims were praying, they were facing the Kaaba stone. They were facing the last two witnesses, Al Maddie. And that is seen in the Gospel of Joshua, I call it, in the Hebrew scriptures, when the two spies were hiding on the roof. That roof is the Kaaba. And the Muslims were praying to two people that are one. And that is al Mahdi and the last witness. So when she gave me that bed, that was a sign in my memory bank that can further help confirm everything I'm believing in right now. Okay, she was a strong witness. Not only that, because um, I'm not going to say her name, but... One of her names is Nine. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Nine. Nine. And I was given nine years. And the last witness was given last nine years with me as well. And the last witness was given nine years as well. And her last name goes into uh, the ministry of McDonald's and how successful it will be for us. The same. Our ministry is going to boom like McDonald's. And her last name is a picture of that. And she knows what I'm talking about. Because you can't look her up. Her last name ain't McDonald's now. Ha ha. Okay. And let me tell you something. She was a dear, dear friend to me. Even when I was with the woman um, I was married to. Me and her still was friends with my wife. So she was friends with me and my wife that she gave the bed to after okay even afterwards she would still come over and we was cool okay she was a picture and i'm so grateful for her and when we talk allah willing we will catch up and I will fill her in and then we will go over everything because she's going to remind me of things that is going to be beneficial for me so it's a blessing okay all right and she has the gold why because Allah saves the best for last I mean come on look look Allah saves the best for last and everything I'm saying is a hundred percent true this person could vouch for it if they was here right now. Now, this is my last wife right here. This is a picture of the last witness. Now, in her life, we got to a place where she told me from the very beginning. She said, you know, if you want two women in Islam, I'm okay with that. This is in 2011. I shut her down like a dirty dog. I said, I'm a Christian. I believe in one wife. And she kind of backed off from that whole question. No more.
No more asked. No more asked. And then I think back on that. And I'm just like, wow. She seen that I was out, Maddie. Okay. She had kids. And her last kid's baby daddy last name was Maduka. Okay. Going into Maddie. Because I really was Maddie. I really was Maddie. Okay. And there was a situation. We'll talk about it later in the future. But my whole household was set up for me to be the Maddie. Even with my daughters. There's another lady by the name of Cindy Besaw. That was a friend of mine. Her house was set up for me to be the Maddie. There's another friend by the name of Crystal Miles. Her house was set up for me to be the Maddie. Even in the house I am right now is set up for me to be the Maddie. Okay. Everything is in its proper place. Now, as you can see, after we broke up, we still messed around. She divorced me because of a threesome that went wrong. And that's the real truth. Okay. I had a little friend I brought over to the house and I ended up hanging out with the little friend more than her. And I ended up taking the woman that I had the threesome with and rocking out with her. Okay. But that woman, and I ain't going to bring her up because she's feisty. Okay. I ain't going to bring her up. But that woman also was a picture of my ministry. My ministry was this. I'm married, but I'm about to get married again. That's what you've seen with the first episode I showed you in my story. That's what you see in this picture right here. Here I am married, but I'm going into another woman in the same situation right now. Here I am right now, physically married, and I'm about to be going up into three virgins from Mexico, restarting the 12 tribes of Israel. One tribe is already out. I have 11 to go. And you see the name. Now, I bet you she has pictures with roses. Because that's another name of the last witness. And as you can see, she has a rose right here on her chest. Now, she also had got my tattoo after we broke up trying to convince me um, to come back home. She had 82 boo right here on her chest as well. Okay, but this is a picture of Rose and how this woman died. She died along with another guy in the car. They died at the same time, which is a picture of the last two witnesses dying at the same time, like Bonnie and Clyde and like the twin towers. It goes down 2034. Okay, she got the glasses on because she can see. Okay, she was on an assignment that she didn't even know she was on all of these women. And what the good thing is with her is that she'll be able to know the assignment because we all were friends. Okay. All right. Now, this woman right here, definitely honor her. Um, she's an elder to me. She's family. Nothing relational. Okay. The Hadeev says the Maddi will be of my offspring and among the descendants of Fatima. Now, I always had a woman by the name of Fatima in my life, and this is her. Absolutely the definition of beautiful. And I respect her because um, she's considered an elder to me. Okay. And the Maddi will be of my offspring among the descendants of Fatima. What does that mean? There was going to come a man named D. Daquan. He was going to descend from heaven. He's hard working like an ant. <laughs> he prophesies and talks like an ant. <laughs> like the ant that prophesied to Solomon. And then Fatima is going into father time. Father's time. And Fatima is going into ma. This is further confirmation that the last female witness is a woman and that's why she got the glasses on because she's saying i can see and then you see the clock in the background because it's a certain day september 16th 2034 is all over now she was blindly guided 
and then she got the glasses in the background because right now this is my celebration right now i have the eraser i have to rewrite everything okay right now the law is out it has to be completely restored and i am the man to do that so as we can see this woman her name actually is fatima and there you can see the rose okay this is the reason why women love roses this is the reason why mexican men constantly kept naming their daughters maria 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 because in the future there was coming a maria and she was gonna die along with al maddie after the death of the prophet isa after the death of the prophet isa now this last one is going to be a treat i give allah all the praises one thing i learned about him is that he does all things for me and through me now this woman you about to see she has my id she has my name like all these women they have my name in the last witness name which is a woman okay now this one right here is a treat this is going to be my my let me see I, I i got a few more stories okay this is my favorite story this is my favorite story because going back to the way he loves me allah gives me a woman and there's physical attributes about her that is my heart's desire that you can see in this person, such as all of the ones whom we're going to restart the 12 tribes of Israel with. They all have peculiar, unique details that Allah knows I like, that I'm crazy about, that he put there for me. It's called the desires of my heart. As you can see, the rose this is her this girl came in my life around the time this girl right here was in my life okay now this woman right here was a friend okay just a friend we friends and we worked together at a bar called tilted kilt and I'm going to get Tilted Kilt on the screen because some of y'all probably heard of it, but you're not familiar with it. So we're going to get a logo of Tilted Kilt so you can see just how I met this woman. I met this woman in a place like this. The place was brand new. The store had just opened up. I had a white boy paying for everything I need. He believed I was the Christian guy. Had the light on me. He moved me into uh, one of his houses. He gave me vehicles. He paid for my 2012 Grace Verse Law album with my hand reaching down. He paid for copies. He paid for the studio time. He just believed in me. And he got me a job at the place I just showed you called the Tilt to Kill. So I'm there, right? I'm there. And there's this girl. She works there on the floor. She has a lot of fans, both male and female. Now, I have more pictures of her, but I ain't going to do that. You know what I mean? Because, you know what I mean? I ain't going to do that. I got more pictures, but I ain't going to show more. Right here, this woman was a singer. And for some reason, I don't know how we started conversating, but she got to sing on one of my albums. And what I'm going to do is, so I don't talk all the way through it, I'm just going to play the song. And then I'll talk about the song last. But let me give you some more storyline on how we got there. So we made a decision to meet at one of my friend's studio. And this guy is alive. He can testify to it. We do this song there. My wife at the time finds out about it and she was a little sour. She was a little sour. I don't know why she was sour. And if you listen to the song, I'm about to play it. This girl is singing to me. She's singing to me just like Rihanna was singing to me. 
when she made Umbrella, she's singing to me just like Beyonce was singing to me when she made Halo. She, this woman right here, has been one of the most number one supporters blindly. Simply by what she said in this song right here. All right, so as you can hear in that song, I'm just a Jesus freak. I'm a Jesus fanatic. She ain't talking about Jesus. She's simply talking to me, encouraging me to do something that ain't nobody going to believe but me. And she's telling me she has faith in me doing this. I'm being all religious with the Jesus, Jesus stuff. And every word I said is a metaphor and it's going into something like when I said your name is matchless like Aaron Schust right there I was simply saying I am Al Matty. I just didn't catch it I said your name is matchless I was basically saying hey your name Matty in this song all right that you just heard so as you can see this woman right here which is a picture of my heart's desire and I'm talking about in the details okay this woman right here sung that song encouraging me okay she told me not to give up she told me to keep the faith she told me I can do it okay she told me I have a purpose. Here we are at a tilted kilt pub, alcohol, and women dressed like this. And I'm getting my assignment because this is my assignment to do this. So I just showed you these relationships where I'm in a relationship and then I'm going into another relationship. Why? Because I am the Genesis 49 guy. I am the Isaiah 49 guy. I have to restart the 12 tribes of Israel from my loins. And this woman, I love her. When I talk to her, I'm going to let her know how much she has been rewarded. She's done great works and don't even know it. Okay, now this is a picture of Jay-Z and Beyonce. Beyonce was a halo to Jay-Z. Jay-Z was the god of rap. Al Matty was the god of the Bible. Beyonce was the mother of music. The last witness is going to be the mother of all of this. This whole thing, okay? And this picture um, is... A picture of that last witness, okay? She was a picture of that as well. I've always got compliments on her. Always, always, always. Right there, there go Jay-Z. Okay, he's a picture of me. Okay, look at him. I always was told I looked like this guy growing up. All right? He's the Jay-Z, the A-Z, and I'm the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last prophet. The real Rockefeller in person. Okay. And as you can see. There's a movie called Mississippi Masala. And Mississippi Masala. Is a picture of the last two witnesses. Now look at me. Now look at the last witness. That's a picture of the last witness. The last witness. She's a daughter to me. She's still like a daughter to me. And you can see that. That's also a picture. I did this in 2016. As you can see, my name right there, DQ. And then you got the bird. And then you have the stars, which is going into the halo. Okay? And then you got the silver and black veil. Why? Because I'm the black stone surrounded by the silver. I am the black stone surrounded by the silver. Surrounded by the virgins. Surrounded by the silver. Okay. Now. I still got a joke last. And it's called the cranberry juice joke. Okay. I got the cranberry juice joke last. I'm not going to forget. But now let's look at another picture of this last witness. This is seen in Amanda Serrano. The woman who just recently fought. And everybody thought she won. 
but she didn't. She's a picture of the last witness. She is rejected. Now, the braids in her hair is going into how it is said in the Hadiths that the ruler of the Arabs will have a head shaped like a raisin. And that's me. I got a little brother by the name of Little B. And he got a little bitty head because he's a picture of me, Al Matty, the man that's going to take apart the Kaaba stone by stone with his little thin legs. So as we can see, the braids is going into the raisin shaped head. Although she won the fight and she lost is going into how people do me. The best is rejected. Okay, the stone that the builders is rejected. Although we the best, we are the best. Allah saved the best for last. And look how people treat us. Look how people do us. And this woman in her fight was a picture of that. Sometimes I get the names mixed up between um, Katie and her. But yeah, Amanda, get it? Amanda is a picture of Al Madi. Al's maid, the last witness, the servant of Allah. That is a woman who is seen in the life of Deborah, who is seen in the life of Jail, who is seen in the life of Mary Margaret, who is seen in the life of all of the women's prophets. She is the real Sarah. I call her Sarah like a chapter in the Quran because she's a woman that's going to do exactly what her husband says as if God said it. Those the type of women we need. We need women that's going to listen to their husbands like they're listening to God. And there is another picture of her. Flags are important because flags are going into the nation of the last witness, which is Mexico. People are in the dark. You know, people run their mouth, but I realize God is not talking to these people. Because if God really was talking to you, how come you don't know that the last female witness is a woman from Mexico? So that tells me you must be sinning. You're doing something that ain't right if you don't know that. Okay? So here we have her scene in the most recent Mexican president. She's throwing up her fist because she has something written on her wrist chris or cross christ is going in to see his wrist or see her wrist and i am the man walking around with the time of the end on my wrist and this woman right here is a picture of al maddie the rejected one the rejected. And the reason why she's dressed like that is because this woman is about to go from dressing um, the way she is now. And she doesn't dress like this. But she's going to go from dressing like that to ministering in sackcloth and ashes towards the end of the ministry. And it's pronounced sackcloth and ashes. And this is seen in Revelation 11. All right. So I think that pretty much was it, you know, and, you know, you know, look at me. See, I guess the best I guess the best, um, you know, um, everything is in this this ministry um, is in who I married. And this is a picture of the Arabian army. This is my Arabian army right here, as you can see on the screen. OK, this is a picture of the last witness. OK, all of this stuff. And I just broke it down to you. I just broke it down to you. Now we got to get to the cranberry juice joke. We got a cranberry juice joke. Now, being Al Matty, words are something that I constantly analyze all the time. Because everywhere I'm going, I can look at a sign, I can look at a sticker, and I'm getting a message. If somebody say a certain word to me, you might not even know, but you're giving me a message and I can get it because I know how to take words apart and spell other words inside the words. And sometimes the enemy will try to use that to thwart the plan of God 
and try to trick you or try to bring something on you that you really don't want to think about, okay, or shouldn't be thinking about. So this is the cranberry juice joke. Okay, so I'm having breakfast, okay, and the lady asked me, she said, um, there was a certain thing on the menu that they didn't have. And she said, well, I got some cranberry juice. You want some? Now, for me, I'm taking everything in that sentence apart. And sometimes you get a blessing and sometimes you get something that can shock you. And literally, you know, by this woman... And I can say this because I'm not attracted to her. Um, I have a goal for three virgins, which is top priority. So I'm not attracted to her like this. But, you know, she was Mexican and she was on the thicker side. And, you know, so, of course, she has a butt. And when she said, cranberry, do you want some? And when she said juice, I was like, oh, juicy. Do you want some? I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so she didn't even know it. She was blindly just saying, hey, do you want some cranberry juice? But really, she was just like, hey, I got something juicy. You want some? Those are the type of things that I have to deal with being being Almaty. And people do it all the time. And I just be like, oh, man. And then they'll be like, oh, do you want some of this or do you want some of this? Or not just those words, but of course, in the English language, okay, in all languages, you know, there's words that say things, okay? And that is the joke. Um, it was quite so funny, man. I was rolling when I was having my breakfast. They probably was just thinking I was tripping, okay? But yeah, so I honor um, the last witness, um, this woman is going to have to do something very brave, okay? Very, 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 very brave, okay? And that's going into the reason why Tamar was dressed like this, okay? I ain't going to spill it out, but she's going to have to be brave. She's going to have to be brave. And today was an awesome breakdown of my life. Allah has blessed me. Allah had an assignment for me to do, which in my own mind, you would think it's wrong, but no, it's right. I have to restart the 12 tribes of Israel. And this is the reason why the God of the Bible always authorized multiple wives. Only Paul came along in the future to ban it. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth. I hope you got something out of that.